Hello and welcome back to the Monthly Market Minute where we take a minute to talk about the Montreal real estate market. So today we're going to be discussing the Q2 results for 2021. Uh, so halfway through the year so far we seem to continue with the same story of pricing up due to low inventory levels for houses across the board. Uh, but good news is is that overall uh, what we're seeing is an increase in housing starts for single-family homes and condos. So that's great news. Long term that's really going to help with the inventory problem that we've been having, uh, giving more potential buyers uh, options uh, and um, more homes to choose from, uh, which in turn should long term alleviate that pricing increase that we've been seeing. And now also looking at the numbers, what we're seeing for single family homes, the largest increase in neighborhoods, and now this is the general Montreal area, uh, but we're seeing the largest increases in Les Coteaux and Il Perot. They've had the largest increase in home value and the lowest or the biggest decrease in uh, home value has been condos and NDG. Uh, so that is uh, that is quite interesting, um, I find at least. Uh, now also what um, now that we're moving into the fall market, believe it or not, it's not far away. Uh, we're in beautiful August. I hope everybody's had a chance to enjoy the summer so far, take some vacation uh, and enjoy the this great weather we've been having uh, but with school just around the corner and the fall market on the way I am confident that there is a shift on the way for the Montreal real estate market statistically with less homes sold this previous July we know that it's going to affect the fall market moving forward uh, so we'll keep an eye on it and of course if you have any questions comments feel free to uh, comment directly to this video and I'd be uh, happy to get in touch with you uh, to help answer your questions have a great rest of the summer and we'll see you uh, very soon